Rhino's getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Gargan has the principle. He fights for profit. Monstrous. I ripped Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. Scorpion! Make him to keep up. Yes, 
That is exactly what I would have thought. Ah, like an old married couple, you two.
Finally, buddy. Then leave your skull uncrushed. There is fun in that. <laughs> Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! Ah! Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but... I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. All units, there's another opening fire from stolen vehicles. Reported location is near Dublin. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's quarantine. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. 